Hi, do you know how it sometimes is when you're in WordPress um, in the theme editor and you're editing one of the files of the themes to make some change or other? Uh, here I'm looking at, um, at the footer file actually. Um, and then you make your changes to the code or whatever and then you go down to the bottom and you're looking for the update button. Instead you see this mes message here. You need to make this file writable before you can save your changes. Well, let's look now um, how you can fix that problem very quickly. Uh, what you do is you can, this is a good way to do it, uh, there are others, um, but if you log into your control panel, uh, this is your hosting control panel, um, in many cases it will be uh, a C panel and it will look like this. Um, and go, go down and find the file manager and open up that one. Uh, now we've got a list of all of the, the files. Um, make sure that you're in your public uh, h underscore HTML folder that you're, you should find. Then find the WP content folder and let's open that. And then find the theme folder and we'll open that. Now open the theme that you're using. In my case here it's 2011 and now um, scroll on down and find the uh, the particular theme file that you're editing so in this example um, it's footer.php uh, uh, select it and then go up here and find the little icon that says change permissions and open that and now um, you've got this here where you can set the file permissions for that particular file uh, you can actually do this for more than one file at once if you select more than one but in this example I've just selected the one which is um, the footer.php file um, you want to this will vary from depending on the server that is actually hosting your site but basically you want to make uh, make this give this um, file um, uh, a greater level of permission so at the moment it's just it's on a what's called 444 so it can be read uh, by the user by the group and by the world but it can't be written it can't be executed uh, what you need to do is to increase these permissions um, and as I say it will vary uh, with server but if you um, a good place to start you could try um, 644 so it's user writable um, or um, you could try uh, 755 like that which is that pattern um, and I'm, I'll choose that um, change permissions click on that um, and it's done and you can see over here on the right hand side uh, you can actually um, see uh, the new permissions it's been given 655 sorry 755 um, but as I say you will need to um, uh, play with that a little bit possibly uh, to get one that works but to see whether it's worked or not uh, just go back here to the WordPress theme editor um, let's uh, reselect the footer file and um, now if you scroll down to the bottom you see the update file button and that um, uh, error message is gone so that's how to do it that's the and as I say you will have to um, just um, uh, 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 you'll have to just try it depending on your server and try different permissions but now most importantly once you've finished your editing you must set this permission the permissions back to what they were um, before as, as which um, assuming that WordPress was all running fine uh, like that so uh, in this case most of the files on my particular server here um, are set to um, 644 and so you know that's reduced the level of uh, permissions and um, that uh, that this particular file has so make sure you set that back to uh, where it started assuming that was working fine for you um, otherwise you're introduced if you give it more but you're introducing a security vulnerability because potentially um, someone else other than yourself um, could potentially come in and change that that file I hope that's been helpful um, thank you